What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is probably the last video in the moving series that I've done. I haven't actually announced any official series, but it's basically been yeah, a little moving series that I've been taking you guys along for. So hopefully you're enjoying it. It looks as though you're really enjoying it from what I see in the comments. So thank you guys so much for writing your sweet thoughts in the comments. I really, really appreciate it. I really, really, really do. I was literally hitting such a lull last year. I, for a minute, I was like, maybe I should just quit. Maybe I should just quit YouTube altogether. <laughs> so seeing you guys be excited for me and loving this content right now really, really makes me so happy and I appreciate it so much. So yeah. Anyways, today I'm heading out to Target finally to do like an apartment shop uh, just for like things I need. Shower curtain, bath mat, I could use a little trash can for my bathroom. Uh, I have a whole list of things I need. But you know when like you first move into an apartment, you just need some things. I need hand soap, especially with a half bath now, I had to get like doubles of everything. So I need to go to Target finally and just get some things I need, way overdue. Before I head to Target though, I wanted to show you guys um, some of the new things I have in the apartment. I have so much new stuff coming, a new couch is coming, I'm so excited, this week. So hopefully I can sell this one. I just posted it on Craigslist this morning, so pray to the Craigslist gods that uh, somebody wants this sofa, because it's in perfect condition and I need to sell it. So yeah, my new sofa is like that boucle fabric, the white kind of, I don't know. Anyways, it's still a sectional though, it's a little bit bigger than the one I have, bigger and longer than the one I have, so it's gonna really fill this space up quite nicely. And then I have another chair on the way as well. I can have kind of double seating. This is definitely like a living room upgrade for sure. So I'm super excited placing this shelf too to something a little bit more solid, nicer, um, this kind of art deco white shelf. And then of course the dining room furniture, which you're not supposed to be seeing yet. I'll give you a little sneak peek, but I will give you the details when I'm allowed to. I've been so lucky and fortunate to work with so many brands right now on like home decor stuff i just i'm so happy and so excited sneak peek at the dining furniture i picked out i'm like kicking myself because i don't know what i was thinking definitely learn from my mistakes and measure out exactly what you need i don't know what i was thinking no i like underestimated how large the space was so it's just a two-person one i still have to build the other chair I'll give you more details on this later, but at least I can put it in the corner, like towards the wall if I want, and then I can get an island here if I want to eventually. So there's definitely more options now, but also, as I mentioned, I'm getting a new couch, which is also longer and bigger, and I'm gonna put a second chair over here and get rid of that shelf. It might actually be perfect for the space since I'm gonna have so much living room furniture. All we need now is just a new rug and we'll be solid. A new rug and I would love, love, love to get like a whole new bed, proper headboard and like frame, or maybe like low profile linen, white. So yeah, that's how everything is looking. I just wanted to give you guys like a quick tour of the place, but it's definitely not like cleaned or prepared in any way, but I don't know, I'm loving it so far. Everything looks so cute. I also put these two prints here, which I know look really small because these windows are ginormous, but they're actually huge prints. So sat on the floor like this, kind of gives me this artsy vibe that I really like. I didn't intend to do that on purpose. I just sat them there while I was thinking, where should I hang them or if I should hang them at all? And now I kind of just love them in that space. I moved them for a second and it just doesn't feel right anymore without them over there. So I love how they just sit there giving this artsy vibe. And last but not least, I wanted to show you guys my new bedding. I'm so excited. I've been dying to get my hands on some new sheets. So this portion of today's video is sponsored by Brooklinen. So Brooklinen offers high quality sheets at an affordable price for everyone. I'm so excited to show you guys their Lux Core Collection. I got a couple nights sleep with it already to test it out for you guys. I can attest to you that the sheets are so soft and comfortable and they just feel so so buttery smooth, I'm in love. Usually Lux bed sheets like this, kind of a core collection would run you up to $500. You can get this bundle for 200 to 250, which is a great deal. You can also mix and match Brooklyn and offers over 20 different colors. I ended up going with the window pane design, which I love. I usually always do like stark white. So I wanted to try something a little bit different. This is the window pane design, which I love. It's so chic and crisp, but they have a ton of different patterns on the website. If you guys want to customize them to your style, as you can see here, I picked up the duvet cover, the Lux Core sheet set, which comes with one fitted sheet, one flat sheet, and two pillowcases. Then I also got two extra pillowcases in king size. That's one of my tips. If you have a queen bed, I always get my pillows in a king size. It makes the biggest difference. I believe they do this at hotels as well. So you spend so much time in bed sleeping, so obviously you wanna invest in your bed. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how I make my bed to be so comfy.
comfy in like a hotel bed. So first I start with putting the duvet cover on. My number one tip for a comfier bed is put two duvet inserts in your duvet cover. As you can see here, I laid down the two duvet inserts and then I take my duvet cover inside out, tie up all the corners, then you just flip it inside out and it's on your duvet. I put on the fitted sheet and the flat sheet like normal. And then of course I have my two pillows that are king size, which makes the biggest difference on comfort in your bed. So if you wanna get your hands on some Brooklyn and sheets, head to the description box. They are giving my viewers a discount of $20 off of any purchase over $100 with the code Antoinette. Huge thank you to Brooklyn Glennon for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Changing to something much more comfy. This is like the outfit you see me in when I'm doing any type of like building um, or errands or anything like that. I don't, I need like some new ones, but this is just so overworn that it's so comfortable now. And um, I don't care if it gets like dirty or nicked. So this is like my builder girl outfit, just a sweatsuit. And it's from Victoria's Secret of all places. So shout out to VS. I don't even shop there anymore, but maybe I should stop in and see if they have some new sweat outfits. Okay, let's go. By the way, <laughs> I'm still on my hydrangea saga. Can you believe? I was actually just thinking I should go to the flower district today too and pick up some fresh flowers because it's only like 9 a.m. It's pretty early still. So I could probably get like some good pickings from the flower district, but I'm like, what flowers can I even get? Like I basically have narrowed it down to mums. Eucalyptus and mums. Those are the only things that last longer than like 48 hours. So the hydrangeas, they're killing me. They've been killing me. I've tried everything that you guys said. Pennies, what crush one aspirin only. Tried it all. The only thing that have been keeping these puppies alive are water baths every night. Just stick them in the water overnight and then in the morning they're like good again. Oh, I will say this is two weeks ago now. So they've been like holding on for dear life. They were dead yesterday. I stuck them in the water just for funsies and actually came back alive. So at least they do that, but they're so beautiful. I just, I hate, I can't be spending money on flowers that last 48 hours, you know what I'm saying? So any other flowers you guys know that last a long time? bathroom stuff so I figured I would just show you guys really quickly a quick haul before I head off to my workout let me take this off so we have a little breathing room just ignore my hair and stuff because it's been a long day lots of walking just really long day kind of regretting booking a workout class in 45 minutes but <sighs> dedication anyways so this is my little target haul first we got this little bath caddy hope to got it sticks to these retro bath tiles I have in there but I need something to you know, hold things, you got it. Okay, so then I got this, uh, it's a little dirty. Ugh, did I get one that's dirty? <gasps> Gross, okay, well, we're gonna just wash it and hope it comes out. But I got one of those like really nice plush white bath towels. I saw so many different kind. The first one I saw was like the padded cushy kind. I was like, perfect. I, I love the idea of stepping out and just like feeling cushiness under your feet. So I had a padded one at first and then I found one that was like more of a shag rug, kind of similar to the brown one I already have. But then this one I saw last and of course it's the most expensive one. That would be the one I want. I also got this um, shower curtain. It's like a nice linen, just plain white. As you can see, I decided to go with all white. I feel like the tiles are really loud. The the lighting in the bathrooms isn't super bright either, so I just feel like I wanted lots of white to kind of bounce a lot of light and just open it up and make it feel really airy. So I got a linen shower curtain. I was really torn between these two shower curtains. One had like kind of this, I don't know, piping going kind of horizontally, which I like. Just a little added touch, but still white. But I ended up going with this one because it's just a lot more luxe feeling. It just kind of has more of a thicker material to it. And then I got two hand towels just to set on like the actual hand towel racks, you know, for guests. I'm having my sister, my nephew, my mom come and visit in a couple weeks. 
So I wanted to make sure like things just look nice and fresh for them and not ugly worn out towels. So I have some hand towels to throw on throw in the bathroom. And then I also got this, love this, one, just a little um, over the door hook. And my two robes can go on here because they're always falling off the door. And then I got a new set of white washcloths, also for guests, but for me as well, for washing my face. I kind of like these cheaper ones because they're a little, they're just a little bit rougher and they're kind of exfoliating. So, so exfoliating, that's the word I just made up. They're kind of like rough in texture and kind of exfoliating anyway, so I like that. And then um, I got some candles, 12 of them. So this will be nice. I just really like... Now that I have a dining table, or like a mini dining table, I like having candles lit like over dinner, even if I'm just eating alone, I like it. I like to have some candles on deck. And then last but not least, I just got a Method hand wash, hand soap, hand wash. Why did I get the $5 hand soap? I don't know. It me in with this hand, with this um, design. It's kind of matte finish. So this will go in the guest bathroom as well. And I already have soap in my, I guess, master or whatever my bathroom. Um, so yeah, that's my little Target haul. Tomorrow we will finally organize the bathroom. The last of the unpacking slash organizing content in today's video, I promise. I know it's like dragging on. Um, actually, I think I only uploaded four, three or four videos. This will be the fourth kind of moving video, so it's not too bad. I try to make them entertaining for you. You guys seem to really like them. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and change and go to Pilates and get some of my stress out on this workout. And I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll organize the bathroom and my closet will finally be done. Yes, everything will be nice. And well, I was gonna say it will finally be done, but I'm getting all this new furniture and I have to build. I have to build two chairs, hopefully sell this couch. So I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm moving again with all the new furniture coming in and out. So yeah, stay tuned per usual though. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, ladies and gents. This is really our project for this video. This is uh, my my bathroom. I'm just gonna give her a quick makeover. Maybe hang some prints, hang up a shower curtain, put some towels out, you know. We're just gonna make her look pretty. So that's her project, let's go for it. Okay guys, bathroom is complete. It only took me one hour, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I feel like I've been at this for a while, but it's only been an hour. I listened to a podcast. I'm really happy that I went with all white to just freshen up the space though. It just looks so bright, so much brighter and prettier. And I organized my little makeup tray so that I have a place to do all my makeup. And got my cotton rounds, my favorite Brado lotion, some face wipes for my face. I hung some prints up. That's how it's all coming together. I hate to leave the vlog on the same note, but just get used to it because like I said in the last vlog, I'm obsessed with flowers lately, plants, botany in general. I just, I really feel like this could be like a really fun new hobby for me. And I feel like it could be something, I just feel like this could be something really fun for me to dive into 
and I just I love it so much so I had to give a shout out at the end of the vlog because it's Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day like season if you are in the area definitely stop by the flower district they have so many beautiful flowers that are pink like everything is just pink so I'm so glad I stopped in this week and um, I never thought I'd be saying this out loud but I actually picked out a carnation of all things. They had these beautiful bright pink carnations and these just last so long that I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna mess around with flowers, like tulips and roses even, they don't last long enough for me. We know about my whole plant saga, the hydrangea saga that I mentioned earlier. If you didn't watch last week's vlog, it was a whole saga on plants and how to keep them alive and all of that. So this week we're gonna just try putting a little sugar in the plants and calling it a day and I got flowers that specifically last a long time. So I didn't have to fuss too much with it. Um, but I also chose these beautiful little mini roses. If, can you see those? Just little pink mini roses. They're just barely even open, so hopefully they last a little longer. And then they had so many beautiful pink plants. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to get my hands on some lilies in general, but when I saw they had the actual plant, Obviously I want the plant so I can like keep growing the flower, obviously, hopefully. Hopefully, you know me. I can never get the flowers to like regrow on plants. It's just only the leaves grow. And it's not the actual flower. But we will just keep trying, you know, until we get it right. So I have these beautiful pink lilies. I love them. They were only seven dollars for this plant. He was like, these are a week old and there's still some that are budding on here, so. He's like, I'll give it to you for $7. I was like, Tch. yeah. So I have the most beautiful pink vase to put it in. I hope it fits. Let's see. I have, oh, so I have this from Ikea. It's so cute. But I don't think, oh, not quite. Shit. Ugh, I really want it to go in here. But I know if I put it in here, if I repot it in here, it'll probably die, sadly. So I'm going to take this baby plant out okay and then i have this larger one from ikea that hopefully this will fit into it's gonna be a little bit oh, okay that works for now it will do for now oh. I am obsessed with these flower arrangements I just made. I'm gonna be doing pink from now on. Uh, not, not forever, but pink is it for me. Like I just truly love how bright and beautiful they look. So I'm super happy with that. This video, I just wanted to pop in and do a quick outro because I always forget. Thank you so much for watching the video. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out Brooklinen in the description box and use the code Antoinette for $20 off your order of $100 or more. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.